Hi everyone, this is Michael with the Astro Explorers, and I'm here to talk to you about star alignment again. So I know originally I said there would be three different options. I've released two different videos, so you can check them out. Uh, both those are using your handheld controller. And tonight, what I wanted to go over with you is how to use the Celestron Wi-Fi dongle. Now, this Wi-Fi dongle, you get to plug directly into your telescope mount and you'll be able to connect to it with your cell phone. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you how to connect this to your telescope, how to connect it to your phone, and then how to do your star alignment all through using your cell phone and this Wi-Fi dongle without actually having to use the handheld controller or mess with your telescope. In fact, throughout this process, the only time you have to touch your telescope is to set it up, turn on your red dot sight, and there are those planes again. Geez, they're always here, aren't they? All right, so with that plane gone, I'll go ahead and pick up where I left off. So what you'll be able to do is actually control your telescope directly from your cell phone. Uh, you won't need to have to touch it. As long as your telescope is in focus, you have your red dot sight on, you'll be able to just simply control everything through your cell phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those steps on how to do that, and then we will see what we can see in the night sky. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to want to plug our Wi-Fi dongle into the top of the telescope mount. Okay, so what we'll do is you have your mount sitting on top of your tripod here. And right here, it's gonna be a little hard to see through the camera, but there are two different ports. One of them is for auto guiding, and the other one says aux. So what we want to do is go ahead and plug in our Wi-Fi dongle into the one that says aux. And you'll notice that it's going to point out away from the telescope mount. You just simply plug it in. And then as long as your telescope is turned on and has power, you'll see the lights start popping up. And that's the Wi-Fi showing that it's plugged in and emitting Wi-Fi. So the next step is actually taking our cell phone and connecting to the Wi-Fi network that is created by that Wi-Fi dongle. Okay, so depending on what kind of cell phone you have, it'll have different instructions on how to actually access the Wi-Fi network. But what you're gonna wanna do is go to your internet settings for your Wi-Fi and you should see a Wi-Fi network that says Celestron. So what you'll want to do is choose the Celestron network and it is going to slowly attempt to connect to that Wi-Fi network. And once it's connected, you'll probably get an error saying that there's no internet access. That's completely okay because we're not connecting to the internet. Uh, that is one of the downsides of using the Wi-Fi dongle is your cell phone may or may not be able to access the internet at the same time as well. But once you are connected, it'll say connected to device and cannot provide network or cannot provide internet. But that's okay because we will still be able to track the night sky using the Celestron Sky Portal app. And that's where we're gonna go to next so that we can connect and align our telescope. Okay, now that we have the Celestron Sky Portal app open, we can see what we can see in the night sky. And if we remember using it last time in the first alignment video to be able to look around, you can still do that by pushing the compass button and you can track and see what's in your night sky around you. But that's not what we're gonna do tonight. So tonight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the scope button. And we want to click on connect and align. And what that's gonna do is our cell phone is gonna reach out using that Wi-Fi connection that we created. And it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi dongle through the Celestron Sky Portal app. And then it's going to give us the option to align the telescope. So we're gonna click it. It can take a couple moments for it to connect, so we'll wait for it to do that. 
and sometimes you'll get an error. So we're going to just double check that the telescope's turned on and make sure that we have joined the Wi-Fi network. So we're going to check our internet. We are going to go back to our connection. It says we are connected. So we will go back to the Celestron app and we are going to try to connect again. All right, and we're still getting that error. Let's check our internet. We're going to go ahead and turn off mobile. We are connected. We're going to see if we can just connect. Okay. So it let us connect. But what we really want to do is do the three star alignment. So I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to connect and align again. Okay, so it was able to connect. And unfortunately, it did take us out of horizontal view on the phone. So we're going to be in vertical mode the rest of this time. But you can see it's come up with a pop-up message asking us to align. So we're going to use that same three star alignment that we used on the last video. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to align the red dot site with three bright objects in the night sky. So I can already see Mars is up there. Um, we've got a couple other stars. So I'm going to point the telescope at Mars. And what you can see is here on the right hand side and left hand side of your screen, is there are controls that are going to let us move the telescope. So you can see that I'm pushing the button to slew it to the right. So my telescope is slewing to the right. I'm going to have it slew to the left and you would see my telescope slewing to the left. You might actually be able to hear it if not be able to see it unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off align Mars in the red dot site like last time when we did the last video following much the same steps that we did on the handheld controller and much like the handheld controller when you get the object in your eyepiece what you're going to want to do is hit enter and what that's going to do is it's going to put us in fine alignment so I hit enter now I'm in fine alignment mode and you can see the rate has dropped. So we were at a faster rate. Now we're at a slower slewing rate, which is going to give us the ability to do a finer alignment in the eyepiece for centering the object. So I'm going to go ahead, center inside the telescope, making sure that to the right and up, is the last motions we make and then I'm going to hit a line and that's going to put us on Mars. Next I'm going to go to the next brightest object and that is probably going to be Capella. So I'm going to go ahead and slew my telescope over to the left and I'm going to work on getting it inside my red dot site. And doing it on your cell phone can be a little bit more challenging simply because you don't have those tactile fill from the directional buttons on your handheld controller. But if you get a little bit used to it, it's not so bad. So I can see Capella inside my telescope's eyepiece. I'm going to hit enter. It slows down the slewing speed, and I'm going to center it in my eyepiece. And it's going to give me an error because it thinks I'm trying to adjust the speed. All right, 
Now I have Capella there. I hit a line. And now you can see that I have two of my three stars aligned. So now I'm going to go for a fourth, or I'm sorry, a third star. And it looks like Vega's a little low in the night sky for me, so I probably won't be able to get that one. But I'll be able to look at Deneb, and I should be able to track to that. So I'm going to go ahead and slew the telescope around. Sorry you can't see it, and you can just watch on the screen. But again, all I'm doing is looking through the red dot sight, trying to put a bright star into the red dot sight. And then once I have that bright star in my red dot sight, I'll hit enter. And that brings down the slew speed again. And I'm going to center it in my eyepiece. Okay, so I have those done. And you can see the alignment was successful. So one of the nice things about being able to do this on your cell phone is you can see what those stars are, go to those objects with your red dot sight, and if it matches what you think you were pointing at, then you've done a good job. So Mars, Capella, Deneb. I caught, caught all of those. So the alignment successful message does match what my expectations were. All right, so now that we're aligned, you can see that set of crosshairs on the neb. And what that's actually showing is where our telescope is currently pointed. So if we wanted to go to a different star, such as Vega, we could choose it. Or all the stars around it. There we go. We can click on it. We can choose go to. Now Vega is going to give us an error message. That's going to say command failure. The scope can't slew there. And the reason why it's saying that is because Vega is too far down in the horizon. So our telescopes have a certain range that they can view and that the app's gonna allow us to view. So what we'll do is we can go ahead, choose Polaris instead, choose go to, and you'll see those crosshairs track over to Polaris. All right, so we tracked over to Polaris. We have it in our eyepiece. Uh, very easy to get on target. Uh, let's see what else we can see over here. Nice thing is we can kind of just go through the night sky by moving the screen around. I see Mars there. I'm gonna go ahead and track over the Mars. And it's gonna take it a moment just because even though it doesn't look that far, we're going almost a full 90 degrees from pointing due north to um, basically directly east. So it is getting on target. And Mars is practically smack dab in the middle of the eyepiece, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want out of our star alignments. So with that, you can also notice a couple of other benefits by using the cell phone. You'll see that we have the current location already on here. It's not asking us to enter that data. It's not asking us to enter the date and time. So there's a big time saver on there instead of having to enter that on the handheld controller. All right, so that is how to use the Celestron Wi-Fi dongle. As you can see, it's fairly easy to get going. The biggest issue is just connecting it to your cell phone. The app, for some reason, doesn't like to connect all the time, and I've had issues in the past with the Wi-Fi just dropping off on me. I don't know if it's interference with other Wi-Fi signals. I've tried multiple dongles. This is actually the fourth one that I've used. I've had different cell phones, so 
for me. I don't know if it's a Wi-Fi interference issue or if it's just the dongle and software itself. With that though, it is a very nice tool to have if what you're wanting to do is visual astronomy and you want to be able to connect, use your cell phone, not have to put in your location data, not have to put in the date and time every time you do it, and just be able to see something in the night sky using compass mode on the Sky Portal app, point to it, push it, and go directly to it. It can make visual astronomy very, very easy, as long as you can connect it to your cell phone. With that being said, I'm going to provide another video on how to actually connect your laptop to your mount. And that's actually going to be the preferred method and step for you on your next step in getting to astrophotography. Because at the end of the day, having a laptop connected to your mount is going to do a lot of good for you. So if your idea is to eventually connect a camera, whether it's a DSLR or a dedicated astrophotography camera, I would recommend keeping an eye on for the next video on how to connect your laptop because that is going to be the tool that gets you going with this go-to mount. In the meantime, if you have questions, tips, tricks, please leave a comment in the comments below. And if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be coming out with many, many more of these. Y'all have a great night and clear skies. I'm not going to connect to my cell phone while I'm trying to do a tutorial, are you? I'll show you. You're going back. Let's see if number five works out better.